Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to add more sounds into Minecraft. This is Minecraft Java. And what I'll be demonstrating this with is with the totem right here. And we're gonna be putting in multiple sounds on the totem so they'll play at random. Let's just go ahead and see how this sounds first. I'll walk that plank back there. Okay, before I jump off of this, let's switch over to survival mode. There we go, that should do it. Let's now walk the plank. And we'll hear what the default totem sound is like. There you go, kind of a big smashy sound in there. And I think we can do better than that, at least we can do different. All right, now the first thing we need to do is to switch over to the desktop and get set up for making a custom resource pack. So let's go ahead, we'll do that. Okay, here we are on my desktop, and the first thing we need is a place to build a pack in. And I made a folder here on my C drive. I just called it pack. Call it anything you want, that's okay. I also have a custom pack.png file over here. Now you don't have to use a custom one if you don't want to, but if you do, it's just a square PNG image. It's all it is. This is at 128 by 128 pixels. Really easy, just named pack.png. Okay, the next thing we need is a sounds.json file. So to find the file, I'll bring up the Minecraft launcher. We'll be needing that later on anyway. In this right here, we're in the Java edition. Go up to installations. And over here, right-hand side, doesn't matter which one you're on, click on the installations folder icon right there. And here we go. This takes you into the Minecraft files location. And here, go into the assets folder, open that one up, and then go into the indexes right here, open this one up. Now, there's a bunch of these JSON files in here. If you're not seeing that .json part of this, go over to view and come down to show and check find them extensions right there. This is Windows 11. If you're still in Windows 10, just go up to the view tab at the top up there someplace and put a check next to Fondam extensions, exactly the same thing. And we wanna have the most current one. Easy way to see it is go up here to date modified. So here's the newest one right there and it's 19.json. And I'll be opening this up in Notepad++. It's a free download. Just go ahead and do a search for that on Google. And it's a really good code editor for this kind of project. Let's open this up. Here we go. Now inside here, you get this big mess like that. I'm gonna open my window up a bit further. And that tends to help a little bit. Now we see all these lines in here, this big code thing over here, and it says size, and then these numbers, and then over here, it says what we're looking for right there. So in here, scroll down, and the first one you see here are the lang files. These are your language files. Go past the lang files, not that many of them, and right below the lang files, you'll see down here, Minecraft sounds.json. We need to get this one. Now, Go just to the right of this. I'm going to select this. It goes over to where it says hash, and then it continues on down over to here. So all of this is one line. And we want this number over here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to double click on that, right click and copy. So it's the one that comes after this, not the one that's before, it's the one that comes after it. Now let's go back over here to that folder again. Let's back up into assets, come down to objects, right here, and we look at this big code thing here. The first two numbers are zero and four. One above is E3, there's a B7, this one's zero four. You wanna find the folder that's named zero four. So I'll scroll down, and it's right there. Go into the zero four folder, and then go up here to search, and this just paste that long code in, there we go, and that finds that file for you right there. Okay, we need to copy this file over. So here's our working folder. I'm just going to right drag it over here and choose copy. Don't move, make sure you just copy. This is the sounds.json file. So that's what's named right here. So you can just go ahead and copy this if you want to. Right click and copy that. Is our working folder. We can close everything else down now. Close that down. We can close this down and click on the name once and a second time. You can then rename it, right click and just paste what you copied. So it should be named sounds.json. Click outside and there we go. And again, I'm working with Notepad++ for these things. Let's now take a look inside of this file. Open this up. And this is a list of all of the sounds in the game, plus some other stuff. All we care about are the sound names. So I'm going to go up here to search and find. And we're going to be looking for Totem. 
So it's fine next. There it is. Let's close that down. So we need to adjust this code in here. What this is, when the totem is used, it plays this sound right here. The sound is inside the sounds item and totem folder. Let's go ahead and we'll get that part set up right now. I'm going to go up to the top just like that so you can see that better. There we go. Here's our folder. Let's make a new folder in here. Click on the new folder button. The first folder is named assets. Let's go inside of this one. Another new folder. This one is called Minecraft. Let's go inside of this folder and new folder. This is the sounds folder. And that's that folder listed right here. Let's go inside of this one. And then have an item folder. New folder and item. Notice that I'm using all lowercase. There's no uppercase. Let's go inside of this one. We have the totem folder right here. So new folder totem. There we go. Inside of this, this is where our sounds go. So up here, this is the sound right there. And normally it has just the one sound in that location. If you just want to do a new sound, then all you have to do is get a new sound, change it to the AUG file format, name it use totem, and stick it in here and you're all done. But we want to have multiple sounds that'll play at random so we get a different sound each time or at least, you know, varying sounds as we use that totem. And for that, we want to have additional sounds in here. Now, the way you do that, this is one sound right there. We're going to add another sound. So put a comma after that and enter. And then I'm going to copy this whole thing here. Right click and copy. Come down here, right click and we'll paste that. Put a comma and enter. And it's right click and paste a second time. And this time, no comma at the end. If you're adding in another sound, you put a comma. If it's the last sound in the list, there's no comma. Let's just name this one two and come down here and name this one three. There we go. That's all the coding we have to do to make this thing work out. It's not that hard as you can see. Save this file. There we go. That's saved. That's all set to go. Okay, get a web browser. And we're going here to pixabay.com. And they have some sound effects right there. Free sound effects. Click on that. Just clear this. I'm going to do just crash and enter. And here we go. There's a lot of crash sounds in here. These are some are short, some are longer. What I want are the ones that are just one second long or two seconds long. Let's just try a couple of these and see what we get. You can play it over here. Click on play. There we go. Let's try this bang crash right here. I kind of like that one. Let's take that. Click on the download button. And we're saving it down into the same folder location here. It's our working folder. Choose save. Let's come down a little bit. I'll find another short one in here. Let's try this one. See what this sounds like. That's pretty noisy. A lot of strange stuff going on in that one. Let's take that one. Save that. Okay. Let's find another short one again. Let's try this one here. Kind of a symbol thing. That's okay. We'll do that one. Let's download that. And there we go. Okay. We have our three new sounds. We can close this down. This out of the way. And it's back up to our pack folder right there. There's our three new sounds. We now need to convert these over into AUG file formats. You can't just type it on this, not going to work. You have to actually convert this over to AUG. And I like using a program called Audacity. Let me bring that program up. Here's the Audacity program. Now, this is also a free download. Just do a search for Audacity, and you'll find that. Now, to get your files in here, we're going to drag and drop these. We'll do one at a time. Just drag and drop like that. Now, if you don't want to use Audacity, you can do this online. There's a good site called Convertio.co. I'll put the link for that right down there. But I prefer Audacity. Okay, let's go ahead and convert this one. Go up here to File, come down to Export Audio. And we need a few things in here. Let's first rename this one. It's going to be Use Underscore Totem. That's the name. It should say .og. And that's the .og Vorbis files right there. That takes care of that for you. On the folder, let's make sure you're in the right spot. Be sure where that is. So if you're here at the pack level, go into Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, Item, Totem. It goes right here. Save that. Make sure it says Mono and Export. Okay, first one's done. Let's get rid of that. Let's do our second one. Same thing, just drag and drop. This is Stereo. We'll fix that. Go up to File, come down to Export Audio. This is going to be Use Totem 2. Notice it's all lowercase and there's an underscore right there between the words. Use Totem 2. Folder stays the same. That stays the same. It has to be in mono right there. And export. Okay, close that one. Let's do our third file. Drag and drop like that. And same thing, file, export audio. 
Rename this one. This is use totem three. Same folder location. Ogvorbus files is correct. Let's make that mono and choose export. And that's done. And we're done with this. Close that down. Let's double check those when the assets folder, Minecraft sounds, item, totem. And there's our three new files. Okay. That's all set to go. We need one more thing in here, and that's a pack.mc meta file. Now, that used to be included in the vanilla resource pack. It no longer is. So I'm putting those on my website. Let me show you where that is. And it's right here at htggeorge.com. And that's just for this channel. Go over to Minecraft Pack MC Meta. Here's the actual code if you want to do it that way. This is for 1.21.4. We're going to just download that. That's format 46. Click on that. Let's download that into our same footer location. Choose Save. Okay, that's done. Get that out of the way. Here it is. I'm going to right click on this and open in a new window, just like that. Then take the pack MC meta, drag it over here, then close this down. And we're done with that. Hit the delete key. Let's now edit this. Again, I'm using Notepad. Open that up. Here we go. Pack format stays the same. Again, this is for 1.21.4. On the next version of Minecraft, that number is going to change. But I'll put the new download on my website when that happens. Let's just change what it says up here in the description. I'll call it Totem Sounds. And I'll leave the number on there just so I know. Choose Save. That's done. Okay, last thing. We need this sounds.json file in the right place. So take it and drag it over here to Assets. Go inside of here. Drag it into Minecraft. Inside of here, it goes right there. So if you see the Sounds folder, that's where the Sounds.json should be. Right next to the Sounds folder. Okay, it's back out here. And now we're ready to build the pack. Click on Assets, hold the Control key down, click on Pack MC Meta and your Pack PNG. Right click, and let's compress to a zip file and give it a name. Let's call it Totem Sounds.zip. And we're now ready to put this into the game. So for that, let's bring back up the Minecraft launcher. Let's go back over, click on that folder. And in here, come down to Resource Packs right there. So open this one up. And our new pack goes right here. So I'll take that and I'm just going to right drag it over there and we'll copy that. Okay, that's all set to go. Get this out of the way, get this out of the way. We can now go ahead, play Minecraft, activate the pack in Minecraft and then test it out. Okay, click on play and we'll load in Minecraft. There we go. This is my custom title page. If you wanna find out how I did this, I'll put links for the different videos in the description. So you can go ahead and follow along on that. Okay, let's come down here to Options and Resource Packs. And let's find our new pack here, left-hand side. It's right here at the top. Okay, click on that arrow. Should be over here now, right-hand side. Looks good. Choose Done. And Done. Let's go into Single Player. And I'll play my main world right here. And we're still down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get up to the top. Creative Mode here. Okay, now I can just really fast fly to the top. Save some time that way. Here we go. Get back to our gangplank. And let's change our mode back to survival. And let's see what we get. Now it's gonna be playing those at random. It'll play one of the three. I don't know which one. And each time it grabs another random. So you could be hearing the same thing two or three times in a row, or you could hear the different ones. It's just random. All right, let's go ahead. We'll try this out. Get to the end of the gangplank and off. Okay, that was that kind of quiet glass breaking one. Let's try that again. Back to creative. Fly back to the top. Okay. Back into survival. Let's see how long this lasts. Got a few seconds to go still until that one times out. Okay. Three more seconds to one. All right, that's timed out. And let's try that again. Make sure I grab one of those. There we go. And we'll try that again. See if we get a different sound this time. Okay, that was a cymbal sound that time. So you see it plays the sounds at random. So there you go. That's how to add multiple sounds onto a sound event. In this case, the totem that normally has just one sound. Easy to do with just a simple resource pack. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to support me doing more of these videos, give me a thanks. Just send me a thanks. Click on that thanks button right down there below the video window. 
Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.